is going on guys as well if you're welcome back to some more Jurassic World last time we left off we hatched this little guy the little foot that you guys came up with a name for and he's, he's still pretty tiny I, I think I'm still taller than him look at that I'm still taller than him by like like a fraction of a blog except for whenever he raises his head like that that's cheating that's cheating you know that you have that long neck that's cheating <laughs> anyways what I have planned for now is that I kind of want to move over the lab over to here, so it's a lot easier for us to, you know, get dinosaurs, you know, get their DNA, get their eggs, all that stuff, instead of doing that all the way over there at the villa. Actually, where is the village? Uh, I think I think it's over there. <laughs> if it's over there, then all the way over there at the village, then coming back over here to hatch them. Actually, it, it'd be a lot easier just to build or rebuild the lab over here, you know. And maybe even like trick the villagers to think that we're going on like vacation or something, you know? So anyways, that is my plan for now. Let's let's try and get that plan underway. And actually, it's getting it's getting quite dark outside. The the sun is starting to set over the horizon with inspirational cows on these treetops. Which makes no sense. I don't I don't know why these cows are on these treetops. But I think I do need to kill murder these cows. Uh, utter shot to death. Nice. <laughs> and utter shot Oh no, 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 come on. Uh, Utter shot. Okay, I hit the grass. <clears throat> Take three. Utter shot. There we go. Got him. Nice. <laughs> Alright, uh, there's a singular cow over here. Actually, there's a cow in that tree, too. Hello, cow. How are you? Oh, you're just showing me your udder. You're waiting to get killed. Oh, what about this one? Oh, oh, no, no, you turned it around. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna utter shot you. I'm just gonna whoop, bounce back. We're like this. Look at this. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Actually, you know what? 360. Oh, oh, he's turned. Oh, 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 utter shot. Oh, thank you very much for that utter shot opportunity. All right. Well, it's getting dark out, so we do need to hurry up. And actually, do we have torches? Uh, no, we don't. Okay, I was thinking about lighting this area up so we can better see it at night. And uh, guess we're gonna have to leave Littlefoot here for over the night while we go back to the village. You know, sleep and gather some materials, gather all of our lab materials, maybe even some other stuff that we may need to uh, move the lab over. So, I think it's over here across this whole spooky spider. Get out. Oh, that's it. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh no. Straight into the the quicksand. Get out of the quicksand. Oh my god, spider, get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, we got him. We got him. Ugh. Okay, let's stay out of that quicksand for now. <laughs> uh, let's just ho Let's just go home. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with any more spooky bobs for right now. I just want to go home, get my stuff, and then head back and rebuild the lab. Oh, we have done it. We have returned to the village, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab all these watermelons. Don't mind if I do free food. Free food. All right, let's just grab that. And you know what? I kind of want to do bring along beefy because if if this if Jurassic Craft is anything like the archaeology and fossils mod, then that means we could use beefy's milk as like a nutrient substance instead of using like raw beef and cooked beef instead of the thing to get DNA we can actually use milk instead so I kind of want to use that that's like an unlimited source of nutrients and DNA and stuff to actually get ourselves some uh, dinosaur DNA or uh, to actually cultivate dinosaurs so beefy you're gonna play quite a big role here pretty soon so let's see do we have any ah you know what we should probably make either another backpack or like a knapsack let's see Naps, how do you how do you craft this thing? It's like a, yeah, a lot of leather, aluminum brass, which we have a lot of, and or gold. Either either way, it will work. And iron tough rods. Okay, so hmm, do we have any iron tough rods in here? And if not, then hmm, I don't know. I think we should we should have iron back over here. But do we have any tough rod casts? That is the question. All the villagers are inside, running away from all the zombies, which I don't even see any on the minimap, so I don't know what you guys are running away from. <laughs> Let's see, any tough rods to- up there you go, tough rod cast. Let's put this- this here. Uh, how many do we need? We need two of them, I think, yeah. Let's put iron here at the bottom. Oh, 93 ingots of iron, that is a ton. Oh, whoops, accidentally just made an ingot. And let's get this tough rod- oh yeah, that tough rod takes a lot of iron. There we go, one there. And let's get- uh, should we get two? And uh, you know what? Let's get two. Let's get let's get another tough rod made here real quick. Yep, there you go. And is this is this number three? Yep, this is number three and four. And let's go get the aluminum brass and set that to actually give ourselves two ingots. Yep, there you go. That's done. And aluminum brass. Where's that? There it is. So let's get two ingots of aluminum brass. And there you go. There you go. And we'll be using that for the knapsack. So there you go. And let's head back. To the house, which we will be departing for quite a while. I don't know if we'll ever even come back to this village. Maybe to get to get like food and stuff, maybe. I don't know. And uh, let's see. We have leather in our inventory. Yep, two leather there. Do we have any leather over? Oh, ho, 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 25. Now, this is some other animal. Okay, Beefy, I don't know what 
I don't know what you're thinking about, but this leather, that's from, that's from a horse. Yeah, you can get leather from horses, so this is not cow leather, if you're imagining that, that weird circumstance that I'm making cow leather here. Ew, that's, why would I do that? Anyways, knapsack and knapsack. All right, so we have two knapsacks, and uh, we can just place that uh, there. There it is right there. Now we have our inventory for our knapsack there, and we can store you know, more stuff inside there, no problem, so. We can access our backpack like so by hitting B and then go over here to access our knapsack. Now, I don't think we can hold multiple knapsacks, that'd be pretty cool if we could. Uh, yeah, they don't stack and you can't just like right click them, nope, no you can't right click them, you can't put them on the ground, okay. There is that, well, let's just go downstairs, harvest all of the, wait, what, that harvest is like not even anywhere near the right word. <laughs> let's go collect all of our items out of the lab. And, uh, it's not going to be very much, you know? If anything, we do need- Oh, yeah, we have a bucket. We do need that bucket to get that lava that's underneath the, uh, the heat generator, so... Uh, oh, yeah, we've got- Oh, ho, ho, we got another Brachiosaurus DNA! This is even done! Man, I forgot to make a hopper under that thing. So, another 75% Brachiosaurus. Oh, that's a 50%. Hmm. But should I play my luck and try and- Try and actually get a Brachiosaurus DNA? I don't know. So yeah, more sand, more bones, and the DNA Combinator, we can break that. Uh, DNA Cultivate thing, we can break that, I believe. Uh, there we go, got it. And let's just put those in the knapsack for now. So we're like, pretty much smuggling that stuff <laughs> into our lab, our new lab, actually. Which we haven't even built yet, I probably should have built that before... Oh, let's just grab all this stuff in this chest and put that in the knapsack as well. I probably should have built that before coming back and collecting all my items. So, there we go, put all the DNA in there. The chest, all that stuff, water, and can I put a knapsack in a- Yeah, of course I can put a knapsack in a knapsack, why couldn't I? <laughs> there you go. Is this done? Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, ho, ho, Tylosaurus DNA, ooh. And we have two more fossils left. Sand, and what's the last one gonna be? Come on, it better be good, it better be good. Oh, si oh two sand, eh, eh. That's what I have to say about it, is eh. It's not, it's not impressive. Uh, it's not impressive at all. Tyrosaurus DNA, and yeah, no, nothing else dinosaur related there, so we can grab that, grab that, grab this. Come on. Too bad I don't have a wrench where I can break these immediately, no problem. And grab this, and grab the heat generator, and oh man, did it go in the heat? Oh, oh, I thought it went to lava right there. Glad that it didn't. Let's grab the leadstone energy cell, and we do need to, you know what, since we're going to be so far away from... Uh, there we go. So we're going to be so far away from the village, we can make those, uh, those windmill things, and no one's going to suspect a thing, they're just going to think that we're trying to get some free green energy, you know? I guess I put lob up there as well. Alright, so our lab is completely empty now, other than the water that's right there, which, eh, I don't think we're going to have a problem collecting water out there, especially since we're, like, right next to a, uh, Oh, there's zombies on the minimap trying to touch some villagers. <gasps> oh, let's go save and defend those villagers. Hopefully none of them are infected. Oh, ho, oh, bid. Oh, I'm here. I'm still hearing. I'm still hearing some ha huh and hers. So hopefully they're not in. Oh, oh, baby zombie riding a chicken! Whoa! Whoa, baby zombie riding a chicken! You kid me? What was? Oh no! What's happening in here? Is someone infected? Oh, oh! I thought someone was infected because they're just freaking out. Oh, there's a T-Rex hat guy right there. Nice. Look at that. Oh, whoops! I accidentally just threw my rapier. Let me just grab that back. All right. Well, I guess. Is, is the sun rising already? Oh, the sun is rising already. Wow, we spent literally spent all night getting all of our stuff from the lab. <laughs> Alright. Well, since everyone is completely defended here. Ooh, there's a spooky Enderman over there. Should we should we try and fight him? We have like literally no armor right now. I don't know if we should. Oh! Tickle tickle! Tickle tickle! Uh tickle tickle tickle! Tickle tickle tickle! And tickle tickle tickle! Uh, uh, tickle tickle! Uh, 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 got him! Got the ender pearl too! Nice! Ho <laughs> ho! We're gonna be using that in the future if we ever find a, an end portal. That'd be pretty cool. Alright. Beefy. It is time. It is time for me to make you a lead and, and lead you elsewhere. So, what do we need? We need string and we need gelatinous slime. So let's see. Let's, let's get the lead recipe up on screen. Uh, there we go. Get that up. There you go. Two leads, and I don't think I'm going to need anything else. I think we can make a name tag, but we don't have a an anvil, so there's no point in doing that. Is there anything like important here that I need, like right now? Like, and I I can always come back later and get some more of that. Uh, you can always come back, and uh, you know what? Uh, hmm, I don't know. Anyways, where are you at, Beefy? Hello, Beefy. We are going to be on our merry way. Ooh, what is with the the lead? It's like a weird texture. It must be because of the shaders. All right, Beefy, come on. Come on, come on, outside the house. Do I have to knock down the door? Is the door- I think the door's in the way. I think the- Oh, eh, eh. 
Oh, there we go. All right. All right, come out the house now. Okay, there we go. So it turns out he could have never escaped even if he wanted to. Huh, who'd have thunk it? All right, well, let's put you up there for now. And let's put the door back. And let's actually leave these guys a little sign to let them know that we're not here for a reason. Is, was my door like this? Or was it on, like, the outside? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's make ourselves a sign. Do we have any signs in here that we... Uh, I don't know. Well, there's one stick. And we have no wood, right? And we have z Oh, wait, we do. <laughs> we actually have wood for once. There we go. Let's make ourselves a sign and let them know that we're still here. Or, kind of, but we left on, like, vacation or something. Uh, let's see. Uh... Gone fishing. There you go. Everyone's going to believe that, right? <laughs> All right. Come on. Oh, beefy. No, get away from the essence berries. Get away from the essence berry. You're going to get it. Just, just broke it upon. I don't want you to get away. Get away from that. God, I heard you screaming in pain. You lost half a heart. You lost half a heart. God, you need to stay away from that, beefy. Come on. We're going to the fishing hole. That's where we're going. Yeah, I'm going fishing with my pet cow, beefy. Yes, everyone, if, any, if anyone's just listening to me, talking to myself. <laughs> Alright, well, let's head over to the lab area, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Alright, need to cross this river. Nice, safe, and sound. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, there you go, got him, nice. Alright, so, we're almost there, Beefy. I can see the enclosure from here, and I shall, I shall greet you with Littlefoot over there. Come on. I know he's literally a species you've never seen in your life. Literally a species that your whole entire species have never seen in their lives, unless they're like cow dinosaurs back then, which would have been hilarious. <laughs> but I highly doubt that. Anyways, oh yeah, we don't even have a fence to tie him up to, because he can't even tie him up to, to these. Hmm. Well, we need to get down a tree. Oh, 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 is he growing? No, he looks about the same size. Anyways, Beefy, how you doing? How you doing? Let me make myself a... Uh, oh, I have these jungle wood. I guess I can use that. Like an axe real quick. Yeah, stone axe. Eh, eh, nothing special. Nothing special. Cut down, uh, cut down this tree over here. Cause I, I kind of like that tree right there with that shade. Yeah, let's get this one down. Oh, that's going to take a while with the tree capitator, right? Oh, God, I hit that tall grass and it reset my thing. Timber! Oh, I will be grabbing all that. Okay, never mind. My inventory is completely full. But <laughs> There's some tomatoes. We'll get rid of that. And what we're, oh yeah, we're trying to make a fence. But we have, don't we have a crafting table over there? Yeah, we do. Okay, perfect. It's gonna save us a little bit of wood, and we just need one singular fence to tie you up to, so there we go, and there we go. Alright, so, uh, where should we, yeah, where should we even build this, like, base at, right? Like, hmm, this is actually, uh, I don't know, I kind of like, like, maybe we could build the base to where we have, like, a central hub, kind of like End of Earth. A central hub like here, and then here's like the herbivores, here's the carnivores, here's the omnivores, and here's the entrance. Or like here's the entrance, and here's the herbivore or the omnivores, herbivores, and omnivores, or carnivores, omnivores, and herbivores. I don't know if I said herbivores twice or carnivores twice, whatever. Anyways, let's just place down Beefy next to this tree, and you will get some nice shade. You won't be getting any, you know, heat stroke staying out here in the hot sun all day. There you go. And you're going to be nice and safe. All right. All right. Feels great. Look at that cow over there with a the chest on its head. Why don't you have a hat, huh, Beefy? Yeah, stop showing me your udders. Stop showing me your udders. Why don't you have a hat? Huh? You look really fancy with a hat, but unfortunately, you don't have one. Ugh. Anyways. Yeah, we should. We should. Oh, we, he definitely looks a lot bigger. Was it a he? I think it was a he. Yeah. Brachiosaurus. Little footerino. Uh, our dinopad's like right here. He's still one. He's still zero days old. And, uh, oh, look at that, Brachiosaurus is a genus of the sauropod dinosaur from the Jurassic Morrison Formation of North America. It was first described by Elmer S. Riggs in 1903 from fossils found in the Grand River Canyon, now the Colorado River, of western Colorado in the United States. The proportions of the Brachiosaurus are unlike most sauropods. The forelimbs were longer than the hindlimbs, which resulted in a steeply inclined trunk, and his tail was shorter in proportion to its neck than the other sauropods of the Jurassic. Ooh, that's kind of information, or uh, kind of in interesting information. There we go. All right, so I guess, yeah, this could be the, the entrance from the hub. There's going to be no exit, because I don't want these guys to escape. And uh, I did get some comments saying that we're going to need, like, a bigger area here for uh, for Littlefoot. And I do I do realize that, but this this little size right here, this is going to get the job done for now. And, uh, you know, having, having separate, like, little areas here is definitely going to help out here in the future. Anyways, 
What should we make our actual new lab base house thing out of? Oh wow, our armor's like pretty much broken, man. We need to make like an anvil, pair that stuff up. I don't know, should it be out of wood? Hmm, I think maybe, yeah. Okay, well, actually, you know what, let's, let's place down, uh, can we make a chest? Do we have an, oh yeah, we can make a chest, no problem. And we have a chest in our uh, knapsack as well, so let's get rid of that. And let's just place down a chest right there. Oh, whoop, didn't even mean to place it right there, but whatever. Let's place all that garbage inside there. There we go. And we have another one in our... No oh my god, it's raining. I was wondering, like, how did it get instantly nighttime right there? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Here's all the super secret lab stuff that we don't want anyone to know about. Let's put that back there. There we go. Alright, and now I guess we can head back, maybe, and get the rest of the stuff real quick, and no one has to know a thing. Actually, I have this... I still have a lot of stuff in this backpack. Ooh. Ah, you know what? I'm going to go drop off all this garbage, bring all the extra, like, necessary materials over here. Even, even stuff from the smeltery as well. I'm going to get that stuff as well. And I will see you guys here in a bit. Alright. I have moved all the stuff into my inventory and backpack and all that stuff. But we are missing some, uh, some torches here. It's, it is quite dark. I do need to get- Oh ho ho ho! I can hear- I can hear Littlefoot over there with his giant feet making some noise! Uh, do we have a- where'd my axe go? I had an- oh, it must be in one of these chests. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's get down yet another tree. Who's gonna be the next victim of my axe, huh? Maybe this small tree. Yeah, let's get rid of this small tree right here. We only need a little bit of wood because we're just trying to make some torches. I do see a creeper on the minimap, but he is underground, I believe, so I, th I think we're safe there. There we go, got rid of that nasty looking tree. And, uh, we should- yep, there we go. Let's make ourselves some torches, shall we? There we go. And... Let's make some torches. Alright. So, I have everything that's essential in my inventory right now. I don't have to worry about anything. Let's, uh, let's actually light this up, can we? Or are we too short? Oh. Oh! Oh, MLG Pro! MLG Pro! Uh, 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 got it. Nice. Uh, and, uh, no, I can't get that one either. Oh, jeez, I have two. Oh. I might be able to get this one. Oh, no, 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 come on, oh, come on, random block that's sticking out of the ground. Uh, come on, last try. Oh, no, oh, wait, we need to, we need to eat some baked potatoes so we can actually sprint. There you go. And, yep, we're up the sprint level now. All right, we should have no problem getting, oh, nice. Actually, I, I'm, oh, whoa, what? <laughs> just the ground just randomly disappears there. Little glitch in the ground. Uh, oh, no, come on, come on, I can definitely get that one. Come on. Oh, no, oh, 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 pro, too pro. Uh, anyways, uh, that's just normal for me. Anyways, we do need to put up everything inside of these chests. Now, I do have a chest there. I think I have another chest in my knapsack, right? Nope, no, I don't. <laughs> I thought I did, but I guess not. Uh, what's inside here? Just random stuff? Yep, no, random stuff. And here's the dinosaur stuff, so I guess I can put that down there. Uh, basically just food and whatnot in there. Uh, I guess in my knapsack I can just keep pretty much food because that's pretty much what's already in there. And uh, yeah, I got I got all the stuff from the smeltery as well, so we don't need anything from there if we need any, like, you know, iron, billion iron, diamonds, we have that. Calamari, of course we have that. You want to be munching on that pretty soon. We need to make ourselves like an iron axe or something we can cut down trees with pretty easy peasy, no problem. And iron axe is actually uh, not that bad. So do we have any spare iron just sitting around? Nope. We have a singular iron ingot though, so whatever. I'm just going to make myself an iron axe real quick. And there we go. And I think we're good. So our knapsack is pretty much exclusively food. Yeah, exclusively food. God. Oh, skeleton. Whoa, whoa. The strafes. The strafes. The strafes. Oh, the strafes. Oh, uh, 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 bounce backwards. Bounce backwards. There we go. Oh, hey. Uh, 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 this is not working. This is not, this is not working at all. It's working against me. Die, skeleton. Ugh. Ugh, man. We should probably light this area up, but I don't want to. I don't want to attract too much attention to my... To God, the ground is disappearing again. <laughs> oh, wow. Every time I place down a torch, it seems to, like, do that weird glitch where just, like, you can see through the ground. All right. Let's light this area up. Nice. Nice perimeter. Oh, skeleton waiting for death. Oh, there we go. Got him. And, yeah, we have a few more torches left. We don't have enough to completely light up the perimeter, but this this will get the job done. There we go. All right. Well, anyways. uh, Yeah, we have nothing else we could do right now other than go to bed. And then cut down a bunch of trees in the morning to gather materials for our new place. So, I guess I could place my bed, like, here. Yeah, I'll, I'll place it, like, here. And this is where it's going to go forever. God, I need to fix that. I don't know what, uh, multi-core thing. I think that should fix it. Alright, time for us to go to Slumbertown. 
in the middle of the night. 